Hello, beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your Life Path Abundance Horoscope Taroscope report for February 2021. Let's get started. Virgo, let's look at what the wisdom of the Oracle has for you. We have the number three between worlds, and we also have transformation in the tarot. So we see you going through a period of time in your life in which you're going to have great happiness. Your reading is very positive and very powerful. You're asking a lot of questions right now. We see this person reaching for a book with wings. So you're inquisitive. Some of you may be going back to school or learning a skill set that will change your life very dramatically. But if it's not school, you're really asking about elements of your life that you really want to improve. You know, why are things this way? What can I do? What am I going to do? What choices can I make? What are my options? Going to the sea is all about balancing your life, taking things intuitively, and enjoying the ride. So nice energy there coming into this reading. So these are, this is for Virgo and Virgo rising. And this is your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth house. So we have the transits, the planets are lined up. So this month you have in your house of self, you are very much inquisitive. You're very curious about things. You really are taking in a lot of information. You're being very receptive, but you're also being more communicative. What we see here is this beautiful energy of you talking to a little seahorse, opening up, really opening up and showing and revealing more of yourself. We have in your seventh house, which is your house of partnership, we have the planet Neptune. So for many of you, plus a three of water. So right now you are enjoying a time of renewal, a time of celebration, your relationships with all the significant people in your life. So if you're, say you are married, it would be your, you know, your spouse. If you are dating somebody, it's your significant other. But it's also anyone who could be a business partner or somebody who's very close close to you, who would have your best interest at heart. Um, for formal relationships, it would be doctors, attorneys, financial advisors, a reason to celebrate. The Neptune, the cloud of Neptune also says that we see your partner as being very, very spiritual. It's a time when you may share that with a partner, time when you may open up your innermost thoughts. Your partner actually knows very much who you are, Virgo. So even if you feel as though you haven't shared a lot with them, your partner intuitively understands who you are from you know your core being. It's beautiful energy. When we look at your money house, now we look at the magician. This is your energy, Virgo. You are in your reading. This is this is Mercury ruled. This is you manifesting either a new career, new way of receiving money, <clears throat> a new way to earn money. But you have been very much creating this for the past year. It's something that you've wanted. It's something you've manifested on the spiritual plane. And now it's here. We also have Libra on that house as a ruler. So Venus, you have Venus, which is money, which is more love coming in. So everything that you value, partnership, relationships, those are catapulting you into a new way of thinking, communicating. It's very transformational energy when we look at this 
between two worlds, going from a time in your life that was not as exhilarating, but you are stepping on the gas right now, metaphorically speaking, and you are moving into a new, a new arena of life. The king of earth and Aries, you are taking action to really manifest what you want. Second house, this is a ruler of the second house. If you are married, this can mean that your partner is coming into a great deal of abundance. Um, if you are married or not, your joint uh, assets are growing. We see the king of earth as is it's the moon it's you know maybe even having a new home it could be buying something investing in something but the king of earth is wealthy and you are manifesting wealth and abundance if you are looking to get a loan of any sort it will be granted it may indicate that you get money from other sources if you are you know eligible for stimulus right now it looks as though that will add to your abundance we're looking, though, at a second and eighth house, which is your money, your partner's money, investments, bank loans, gifts, inheritances. And Aries here, we have this very beautiful energy that you may hear about this very soon. When we look at your third house, now we're looking at your neighborhood. The Two of Coins says that you're not really sold on where you're living. Um, it also speaks to the fact that you have a decision to make. You're juggling two different ideas. You may be traveling locally a lot to different two different locations. For those of you who might be working a gig job to manifest your dreams for money, it means that you're juggling a lot of local travel. When we look at your ninth house, this is Taurus energy. This is the energy that rules the second house. So what we see is that you are transforming your life. This can indicate that Mars is action. Remember I said action to earn more money. You may be getting a, an educational grant a gift. Uh, you know, when we look at the eighth house, that's also your investments. It looks as though some of you could literally, Uranus rules things like electricity. It rules computers. But what we're seeing is that you are going to transform your life with the power of taking action in the arena of the ninth house. And the ninth house is higher education. It is a publishing, broadcasting. It's uh, the belief system that you hold. And all of that is changing very radically right now. This is a card that's going to catapult you into this future. And as we look at this, it's going to increase your abundance, your happiness. You have some Something to celebrate in the month of February. It's beautiful. It is, and it's really, you have created this dynamic through your effort, through your hard work. Virgo, when we look at your fourth house, you have Sagittarius on the fourth house cusp for Virgo risings. We have the three of earth. You have this beautiful entry into your home in which you always bring this very happy-go-lucky vibe that in your home you really seek to be joyful and that in your home at this time during this month of February you have a beautiful energy of collaboration every everybody in the household if you live with others seems to be doing very well everyone is just having a very successful time time. So if you have children, they are going through a very transformational period of time, a time in which they are having, quote unquote, a big victory in life, that they're doing some sort of, you've parented so well that you're finding that you're going to help your children expand beyond what you had when you were growing up. But it really speaks to the fact that you are in a peaceful time in your home life. You enjoy it. For many of you, you may be, you may consider actually the thought of traveling and maybe renting a home in another location like another country. You also may own property in another country. You may consider buying property in another country if you so choose. 
We also see your 10th house. You are a rock star, Virgo. Your 10th house, Aquarius, excuse me, this is Aquarius energy, the star card, but it shows that what we're seeing here is with Gemini on the cusp, your ability to be a fast thinking, well, you really communicate well in the sphere of your career. And what we're seeing is tremendous stability. You are getting basically a promotion this month. You are stepping up into the limelight. You could be featured in a news article locally for your skill set or something that you're doing. This is public acclaim. This is a level of success that you may never have experienced experienced, but you are stepping up into the future in ways that are powerful. Your day-to-day -day work life is changing dramatically for the better. It's something that you have earned every step of the way, Virgo. When we look at your fifth house of romance, your fifth house of children. This also rules, so it's children of the body and mind, creative endeavors. If you are a performer, this is a house of, um, you know, performance. But what we see is transformation once again. For some of you, you are entering a romantic relationship in which you will have great success. There's something about the relationship, your partner in that relationship, who may have been a friend at one time, is really I don't know how to say this. They're driving you forward. This person is helping you unleash any inhibitions that you may have about where your destiny is in your life. This person may have Cancerian energy. They're very nurturing. This is Cancerian. But it's very much someone who helps you as a friend uh, to take charge of your life. Additionally, with this Pluto on your fifth house, and we see that you may be and I see this, this area of work for you changing dramatically day-to-day -day work with your career. You may have a whole new group of friends coming in. The chariot card is rushing forward into the future. It is a burst of beautiful energy. She is dressed in finery. This is the acknowledgement from your peers. This is associations that could be professional associations. Uh, when we look at cancer on the cusp, here. We're seeing that if you are a remodeler, a builder, you may be entering a phase of your career in which you expand tremendously and it brings you wealth and you have done, you've manifested this. When we look at your sixth house of everyday life, you get up, you put on your shoes, it's, you know, your, your weekday. We see the sun car. You are happy right now. Aquarius energy, a Aquarius rules electricity, Aquarius rules um, all communications uh, for technology. It is an enlightened way of thinking. It is the home of trade unions and trade groups. It's that how do we propel the greater good of the all forward? You have the planet of expansion and abundance here in your sixth house of work, you are going to get news because we have Mercury, something that you didn't get to have earlier, some some impediment that was in the way of your progress before is now going to be removed. And we see Venus, you uh, receive this beautiful gift that will increase your personal money, that will increase your uh, investments in life and long-term wealth. We see Saturn there. It is a committed situation. It is something that you will love. You will feel like it's creative. It's fun. Whatever you're doing in this house of everyday life is about to move forward quickly, very quickly with that chariot card in the 12th house. You know, you're not very, you're not an arrogant person, Virgo. You are a person who has a lot of dignity. 
You know your worth. You know the quality of work you do. You do not brag about yourself. And in the 12th house, though, look at how wonderful you feel. All of your effort, all of your work, you are coming into this leadership role in your career life. And it is just creating a sense of serenity and accomplishment and joyfulness. The Emperor card, working hard behind the scenes. Whatever work you do is not done in public, but you become this incredible emperor energy, Aries energy. You're the leader behind the scenes. Whatever is going on, you are ruling the day. It's Leo energy. You are fun. You are great to work with. The emperor in the 12th house means that also for many of you who have had health problems, whatever these changes are going to be, they're going to be magnificent for your well-being, for your mental health. So we're looking at this emperor energy and we see Mars and it is the ruler, you know, of this Aries energy. And when we look over here, part of the transformation that you're going through is again, you know, this Uranus, this sort of Aquarius energy. So the transformation that you are going through in your life right now that will make you so happy is going to be very day-to-day work-related related and it's going to bring you an incredible abundance. Your reading is so sort of successful and there's this beautiful golden thread running through years of work that you've done that really are coming to fruition. Dreams literally coming true. You know, when we look at the chariot card, really having pushed forward for the past seven years into this success that you've really wanted, deserved, and earned. Virgo, the advice is be the light, the white witch. She's beautiful. She has a beautiful owl that has wisdom. This person, this could also be a friend of yours who has supported you through this process, but this is very much, you know, be the light. And you are, you know, you're very supportive. We have the advice for the reading is expression. Meet Chanti. Chanti is a kitty cat, and this is a spirit cat oracle. She once kept her ideas and feelings locked away in her heart where no one could see or hear them. That's this emperor energy, my friends. It felt safe and secure, but alas, she felt so alone. No one truly knew her. She was longing to come out and play, gathering her courage. She flung open the window in her mind and unlatched the doorway to her soul. She started to speak her mind and give her voice to her heart. She could never again fit in that small closed space of hiding. Soon her words grew into unabashed singing. What song are you keeping captive? What song at last can you unleash into the world? And oh, the emperor you are, but the emperor will not be quiet because you have Leo on the 12th house. Those close to you will absolutely adore what the new you that's bursting forth into the world. Cindy, you love from Chicago. If you'd like to enter the contest, please check the contest and the information rules in the description box below. Sending love and light. Thank you so very much. Hope to see you again soon. Send some love back. Bye-bye.